Garo Hills actually, it is the one of the largest uh, area in Arakanat. Farmers are depending on Arakanat. Many farmers are depending on Arakanat. But uh, many things are, uh, this Arakanat is not cultivation itself is not proper. So a lot of problems in disease and pest problems are coming, especially bud rot is a, one of the issue. That bud rot is not just because the disease is there, because it is because of the improper, not a proper practice, agriculture practice followed for the uh, coconut and that arecanut. Arecanut, the, the, we have, that's why we wanted to train them for the good agriculture practice. How to grow arecanut from the beginning? Because it is a perennial crop. If you are not taking the crop from the initial stage itself, it is very difficult to, what they are doing here, most of the farmers who have visited in Garo Hills also we have seen, they just plant and leave it. Then whatever that comes, they want to harvest. So that is not the uh, way. They need to, uh, because it, it has to get the nutrition, it has to get uh, to grow the yield and uh, good uh, yield. So it needs all the nutrition. So how to, and here being a high rainfall area, it is a very high rainfall area and a slopy area. The top soil will go. So nutrient will leach out. So that should be, we should be able to have the water conservation. We should conserve those water, especially from November to March. There will not be any rain. So that time, this will be uh, affected with the moisture stress. There will not be water for the uh, this uh, areca nut. So that time it will become weak. That plant will become weak. So when the rain starts again, this fungal diseases will make the weak plant attack. So that will be become more problem. So what we said, one is the nutrient management. We have to do especially the uh, whatever the soil, water we should conserve. And a little bit during summer season, from November to March, there should, we should give little bit of water to the so wherever water is available we should give little bit water to arecanut as well as we should see how to conserve the water like we can grow even the pineapple but today we have seen that if we can able to grow pineapple uh, in between it can help to conserve the water also they can get additional income also what our aim is to go for good agriculture practice to ask to follow so that they can able to this one secondly instead of depending only on arecanut they should try to practice many other crops which can be grown within the arecanut plantation. Inside arecanut plantation, they can grow a lot of uh, plants. If you go to some other states or progressive farmers, if you see so many other crops they grow within arecanut, like black pepper, banana, uh, these uh, fruits, different types of fruit crops, all they grow. So like that, here also, based on their locality here in this area, which crop will be better? Though that type of crops also they can grow, so that will give very good uh, income for them. Even though one crop is not yielding this year, other crop will give the yield. So that's why to, to increase the farmer's income, so that will be useful. So that's what uh, we are uh, trying to locate. This is what our Central Plantation Crops Research Institute from ICAR. We have taken initiative to go for all the areas in Meghalaya and uh, try to explain this aspect so that with the KV case as well as the local horticulture officers with we can have it a, a tie up with them and we can have they can get the more uh, these practices good agriculture practices to pass on to the farmers so that they can get the good life this is the major focus of our uh, this type of programs now no, uh, this especially for the bud rot as i told bud rot is a uh, disease caused by a fungus called Phytophthora. So this is mainly, this fungus causes disease in the high humid area. Wherever the humidity is more, especially in Meghalaya, high rainfall, and especially in the hilly area, in the slope, there will be always windy, and uh, this fungus once starts, it will go on come. So this can be prevented. Actually, most of this Phytophthora diseases, what we tell is to go for, before the disease comes, we should go for spraying especially the copper based fungicide is allowed it is not a this one even in the organic farming copper based fungicides are allowed so like bordeaux mixtures like things they can go for spraying to the uh, this crown of the uh, arecanut arecanut uh, leaf everything they have to make a spraying just before the rain starts
just before and during monsoon once in a while they can one more times at least two times if they spray that could be a lot of saving this uh, arecanut can be saved from this one bud rot so that's what we are uh, uh, demonstrating earlier actually to spray that height very difficult now there is a system it has come called the carbon fiber pole based uh, from the ground itself farmer can spray to that height using that pole so in southern india like karnataka and all they have started already farmers are using that type of uh, carbon pole fiber pole based spraying as well as harvesting for that or uh, this one bamboo stick you cannot go to high we cannot do that much height here we can go up to 70 feet this can be uh, height can be adjusted and it can be come down also so that that type of sprayer uh, has been developed now now many areca farmers in the south are already adopted we also wanted to show them how this can be used especially to protect the palms from the this one this is one aspect and that is not the only solution as i told our aim should be to go for good agriculture practices see uh, taking medicine is one one aspect only but we should make ourselves strong the plant should be strong to make strong to do that all the agriculture good agriculture practice to be followed one is they are planting the here in the surface they will not make the good pit of the arecanut for planting so what we tell is it should be made into a small uh, one feet uh, two feet by two feet fit and then you we mix that soil in the half of the pit with the soil then you plant inside that this uh, this one so that the arecanut seedlings so that there will be a good uh, uh, root even the surface what happens because of leach out of this one on the surface especially surface planting the water availability will be less on the surface because of november onwards no rain up to march that time the surface roots will not able to get the moisture so moisture stress will cause the that uh, plant because these plants are continuously growing this is a perennial crop not like annual so during that time also they require moisture so to do that if you are planted little deeper little deeper while planting that will be wash water will be there at the down they can absorb and some uh, help will be help will be there so that's what we have suggested also we saw here mostly the planting method itself to be they have we have already yesterday presented how best they have to they can make a planting itself second they can go for some of the high yielding varieties our uh, uh, this in it is supply is there we have told we can collect from our uh, gavati center cpcri gavati center so where there is a good yielding uh, two three varieties are there which are suitable to this location so those type of varieties they can grow instead of and take the select the good material not just what they are doing here what we have seen is simply taking all the arecanut and making the seedlings what because it is a perennial crop once we plant it will be for for 50 to 70 years so that is why why selecting the uh, uh, seed nut that itself is a very important seedlings so for planting so that itself we are teaching how why we should we should take the good mother palms we should select which is having very good yield i know that meghalaya wants to be in a organic this one so even organically also if they want to do also possible like this in vitro in in situ this itself they can whatever the waste comes in their garden like a leaf or a husk all those things they can convert that itself in their field and that can be used as a uh, for the soil enrichment soil organic enrichment so that nutrient in the soil automatically will be more and that will also help but if they are not practicing that because of that only it is happening this type of things happening so that is what i am telling one is uh, in spite of that one preventive spray we can give and this type of practices if they follow definitely the disease incidence will be coming down and the yield also will be increasing arecanut that's what we are suggesting so that will be very useful and apart from that we are suggesting they can go for some multiple crops also instead of one crop depending only on that they can go for other crops like black pepper pineapple and other things which uh, which can be grown along with the black pepper you can grow along with the uh, this one that has also very good rate the same practices they have to follow arecanut so it will also give good yield whatever the yield comes that will be additional income for them